Hey cruisers, our journey to Florida is underway. We are flying today from LAX, gotta change lanes, to, <laughs> we're flying from LAX to Orlando in preparation for our cruise on Harmony of the Seas. Today is Friday and we did something totally different this time and we actually gave ourselves a little time to enjoy Orlando before we get on the ship. So we are going to be flying into Orlando tonight and then we've made arrangements with Go Port Canaveral for all of our transportation and our pre-cruise lodging for this trip. So the way that it works is that once we get to the airport tonight, Go Port Canaveral has put us up at the Marriott Lakeside by the airport and we take the airport shuttle from the airport to the hotel. And then on cruise day, we're going to be taking the early to cruise shuttle from the hotel to the cruise port, which is about 50 minutes away. So we're going Port Canaveral from Orlando. And then after we get off the ship, Go Port Canaveral is taking us from the cruise port to the airport. So we're really looking forward to some peace of mind of knowing that we have booked with a service that's gonna take care of all the transportation and the lodging for us. So since we've never been to Orlando, that's the route that we decided to take. And it just feels so good not to have to worry about all those little details. So yeah, we're about an hour outside of LAX. We've made reservations with a parking lot where our car is gonna stay the whole week. And we're gonna be flying with JetBlue today, about a five and a half hour flight from LA to Orlando. So I'm gonna put my eyes back on the road and we'll touch base with you guys once we're in the airport. Take the exit, then keep right toward Los Angeles International Airport. LAX and we left our car this time with the valet service at the parking spot which is a place where you can leave your car they have like three levels of parking they've got like uncovered and they have self parking and valet well there were only valet was like the only thing left when I made the reservation it was only a dollar more a day but they take care of your bags for you and they park your car for you it's really nice and somehow we got very lucky we have the whole shuttle to the JetBlue terminal to ourselves right now but this has been a really nice experience so far different for us because usually we just stay in a hotel and then we take the hotel shuttle to the airport but the reason I chose this company is because when we're waiting at the airport for our shuttle these are the shuttles that we always see there's just tons of them so I think it's gonna be quick and efficient on both sides of our trip out of LAX so here we go just a few more minutes to the airport it's been a smooth travel day at LAX so far. We're here at our gate, had a tasty lunch in this little farmer's market area, and we're just waiting for boarding time. I think what's made this day a little more smooth is that we didn't have a super early morning flight. We got to LAX really early, and now we've been able to just chill. I do want to tell everybody really quickly that we did have the opportunity for the first time to use our global entry today in the way of um, being assigned TSA pre-check, and it was wonderful. So if you're on the fence about TSA pre or global entry, go for it. It's wonderful. So cool quick. You don't have to take off your shoes. You don't have to take your liquids or your laptops out. You don't have to take off your jacket or your belt. It's really great. It's worth it. And it minimized our stress today. It was fantastic. Um, so yeah, we're just going to wait for boarding time and then jump on the flight and hope that everything stays as smooth as it is because it's been a really, really, really on time kind of day so far. I really do do this. Welcome on board our flight. We made it. Super full jet blue flight to Orlando, but so far, again, things are going super smooth. Junior is in the middle seat. I'm taking the aisle. Mr. Christopher's TV has the window. So in five more hours, we're going to be dropping down into Orlando. It's probably gonna be really dark outside. Not sure we're gonna have a whole lot to show you in Orlando, but our Go Port shuttle, actually the hotel shuttle from the Marriott Lakeside is going to be picking us up 
and taking us to our hotel and we'll probably grab some dinner and crash out and enjoy a fun day tomorrow in Orlando at our hotel. We are going to be doing a little bit of shopping tomorrow. We need to get sunscreen and oh, I forgot what else. Oh, we're gonna get a hand soap, like a, a pump thing of hand soap to put in our room. Obviously, if you're packing carry-on only, you don't get to bring that stuff with you. So that's our plan tomorrow and we better sign off. Orlando Airport, super smooth flight, everything went really well, and now we've made our way to the ground transportation area, and we gave the Marriott a call, and they are coming to pick us up right now. Now, Eastern time, it's like midnight, but we're still on <laughs> Pacific time, so it's like 9 p.m., but I think we could use a little bit of food and some serious rest, so we're going to say good night for now. We'll see you in the morning when we check in at our hotel and enjoy our first ever visit to Orlando. Saturday and we've had the most relaxing morning here at the Marriott Orlando Lakeside by the airport. This is a really convenient spot if you're coming in like late on a flight you can just pop over here and get your rest and relaxation started right away. It's been great. So we had the pool all to ourselves all morning and the weather was just great. It was like warm and balmy but with occasional breezes and then the clouds would come in and just cool us off whenever we needed it. So right now we're waiting for our Uber, who's gonna be here any minute right now. <laughs> and we're gonna go to Chili's and get some lunch. It feels like we're just starving and it's super late because we're, our schedule's all wacky. We're on East Coast time and normally we're West Coasters. So we're trying to get used to this, but man, it has been such a luxury to have this day before the cruise to get into the vacation mode and just relax and do pretty much nothing. As you can tell, um, I just got out of the shower, my hair is wet and we're just kind of chilling today. and taking every moment as it comes. So yeah, we're gonna jump in our Uber now and go get some food and then jump over to Walgreens or some kind of a uh, drugstore to pick up sunscreen and some hand soap for the cruise tomorrow. <laughs> Lunch at Chili's was great. We were like level 10 of starvation, so no matter what we were gonna eat, it was gonna taste really good. So three Uber drivers 
and one trip to Chili's, one trip to Walgreens later, we're back at the hotel. We're actually in the guest laundry, we'll give you a little spin around here, and we're doing a little load of laundry on um, our pre-cruise day because we have dirty swimsuits, we have dirty clothes from the flight, and we will not be doing laundry on the ship unless it's like sink laundry. So we decided we would just do a proper load today, and it's only like $2.50 for a load, um, for a wash and $2.50 for a dry and like $1.25 for some detergent. So we figured we would just go for it and get all the wet swimsuits all cleaned up and we're ready for tomorrow. So um, we're gonna show you around the laundry room a little bit and then we're gonna head back to the room and we're gonna get our stuff ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's the big day, of course, embarkation on Harmony of the Seas. And what I'm gonna do is transfer kind of everything from my flight bag into my um, embarkation day bag. So it's kind of a different routine. So we'll show you some of the items that we're going to be taking on the ship and how that differs. We're gonna lighten things up just a little bit. And then when we get to the port, we're going to check our bags and then just keep it really light with swimwear and sunscreen and um, sunglasses, hats, things like that. So we can just enjoy the outdoors before our bags come. So finish up the laundry now and then we'll head back to the room. This is very exciting. Vacation laundry is so exciting. All right, let's transfer. So yeah, I uh, left the room key in the laundromat and the laundromat requires a key and so we're locked out of everything. <laughs> No, why do I always do stuff like that? So we're headed to the front desk. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna say we're locked out of everything and can you please give me another key because, yeah, blonde moment. Crisis averted. I got a new key and the ladies at the front desk did not even laugh at me. I had a new key within 30 seconds. So we're good, we're back in the room. The boys have gone to work on the laundry again and I am back in the room and I'm packing our embarkation day bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we're gonna be taking. I like to keep it really light on embarkation day these days. The one thing I'm not gonna show you but that you will you know is gonna be in here eventually is our swimwear and our flip flops. Um, the swimwear is actually in the washing machine right now because we went swimming at the hotel here today so just know that we're gonna get that in there and everything else so pretty much is in the bag. So let me show you what we're going to be taking with us to the port. All right, we'll start with probably the most important thing, which is right here. This is our passports. I am actually not printing boarding passes for this cruise because they're electronic. The Royal Caribbean app makes it so easy for you to just keep electronic boarding passes. So those are just gonna stay with me. Next up, I have some sunscreen. This no ad right here I bought today at the hotel and I was thinking it was gonna be like your typical kids sunscreen, but you guys, it has this amazing coconut smell and the whole family tolerated it really well. Junior and I have really sensitive skin, so we love it. I would highly recommend it. This is actually the normal sunscreen that my son and I wear. It's a 70, and it's actually a kid's product, but it's great for sandy days. It just goes on really well over, um, over the water, over the sand, over everything. It's a really nice spray. So this is kind of our favorite sunscreen. We picked that up at Walgreens. Got a few snacks here, and this little bag is just my tech accessory case. This has chargers and cables. We're going to take that. My son's goggles, of course. And then we have sunglasses for the whole family as well as my wallet. And then I'm gonna take my makeup. I've really downsized the makeup for this cruise into this little bag. And then the last few things that I have here are hats for the whole family and a reusable water bottle. So what we're doing is transitioning from this flight bag over to this little packable backpack. So hopefully everything will fit in there. If it doesn't, my son will also have a backpack and we can sneak a few lightweight things into his pack as well. So yeah, hopefully I didn't forget anything, but we're doing this nice and early so we have some time to cross check everything in the morning before we get on our go port shuttle. Uh, I thought that the sunrise and morning time was beautiful by this little lake but it is so gorgeous at sunset. It's, I think we just really struck gold with the weather though. There's just this gorgeous breeze today. And as our Uber driver said, in Orlando, they turned the oven down. So it's just not that hot. It's so nice. It's like 
perfect fall-like weather. So it's been the best way to kick off our vacation, to actually take another vacation day before the cruise. I do not regret this. We are so in the mode. And I'm even more excited now, I think, for Harmony of the Seas, having had time to like really process it and think about it today and look forward to these little moments. So here are the little moments I'm most looking forward to tomorrow. I'm actually looking forward to seeing a little bit of Orlando. We haven't seen a whole lot, so it'll be kind of cool to see what's between here and um, Port Canaveral. I really don't know. It'll all be new and exciting to us. I'm excited to see the entire ship. Just the enormity of the ship, I think, is going to be my blowing for us. As many of you know, we've been on over 30 cruises, but this ship is way bigger than anything we've ever been, been on. Excuse me. The biggest ship we've ever been on was Liberty of the Seas, another Royal Caribbean ship, but otherwise we're like mid to small ship people. So I think it's going to be pretty shocking for us just to be standing beneath Harmony of the Seas. I'm also looking forward to my drink package and finding that first perfect cocktail and maybe that second perfect cocktail tomorrow. I'm excited to see what kind of trouble I can get into with my son. Maybe we'll hit some water slides or pools or something like that, but there's really a lot that we're looking forward to on this cruise and we appreciate you following along with us. This is just the beginning, so make sure you stick around. And again, make sure you're following our Instagram story highlights. We saved a little story highlight for you from this trip and there's so much goodness in there that we can't capture in the vlogs that um, there's those little moments that are like mini vlogs. So make sure you go check those out. So we'll see you tomorrow in Port Canaveral for our seven night journey to St. Thomas, St. Martin, and perfect day at Coco Key with Royal Caribbean.